What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again. Today, I wanna to take a look at Samsung DeX. Now, if you're not familiar with Samsung DeX, that's totally fine because this is a very overlooked feature of the newer Samsung phones from the Galaxy S8 to the newly announced Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. This also works on the Tab S5e, the Tab S4, and the upcoming Tab S6. And essentially, DeX turns your Android phone into an Android PC. This is only available on Samsung devices, and if you're using a phone, you will need to connect over USB Type-C to HDMI or on the new Note 10 or Note 10 Plus, you can plug right into your Windows PC and display decks inside of Windows. So I was really interested in this, so I went ahead and picked up one of these USB Type-C to HDMI adapters on Amazon for around $15. It's got HDMI, Ethernet, USB Type-C in for charging, two USB 3.0 ports, and a micro SD card slot. And basically, all I needed to do was plug this into my monitor with HDMI and then plug my phone right into the adapter. I also have a keyboard connected with a little USB dongle. And I now have DeX up and running from my Galaxy S10 to this 32-inch monitor. And this monitor being Samsung is totally coincidence. This will work on pretty much any TV with HDMI. So now I basically have an Android desktop running on my monitor from my phone. It's very user friendly. I think it looks really good. And if you've ever used Windows or Linux, you'll have no trouble at all navigating this interface. You'll still have access to all of your games and apps. You can run it in window mode or you can go full screen with it. So in this video, I wanna take a look at the performance. I'm gonna be testing out some games, some applications, and we'll move into some emulation. I've always loved the idea of HDMI out on these Android phones. I do a lot of gaming and emulation on my phone, but sometimes I just wanna sit back with a controller and a big screen. Most phones do offer the cast option, but the lag is really bad with that. And with USB Type-C to HDMI, I've noticed that the performance on this is absolutely amazing. On all of the Samsung phones that I've tested, in order to access DeX, I will have to be plugged in with HDMI, but on your tablet, like the Tab S4 and the Tab S5e, and even the upcoming Tab S6, you can use it all on the built-in screen. So here it is, Samsung DeX. Now keep in mind that I am running this on the Galaxy S10. It does have a beefier processor than the S8, S9, or even the Tab S4, so it might perform a little better but I've been using this on the Tab S4 for a little while and I really don't notice much of a difference until I get to a game that really needs this extra GPU and CPU performance that comes from the Snapdragon 855. First thing I did was run a few benchmarks. Now some of these are resizable. Straight out of the box, we don't have to turn anything on. For my Geekbench score, round the same exact score that I had when I was in handheld mode. I did notice a bit lower on the Vulkan score for 3D Mark Extreme. This is a GPU benchmark. And my Antutu was just a little lower. I usually score around the 360. I got a 355 here. But overall, all of that can be chalked up to variations in temperature and everything like that. So I'm still pretty much getting Snapdragon 855 performance in DeX mode, which is really, really nice. Now, like I mentioned, you can resize different apps. I'm going to go to DeX Labs here and force apps to resize. Some apps just won't resize out of the box. You will have to turn this on. So for instance, if I wanted to start up a game, we'll go with Asphalt 9 again. As you can see, it starts in window mode, but if I click this, we'll go to full screen. I do have an Xbox One S controller connected. I can start playing this game right now. Another cool feature that's available in many other operating systems is the ability to run multiple apps at the same time on the same screen. We just don't have enough real estate on the built-in phone screen to do this. So I have PowerPoint, Excel, Word. Be working on a Word project here. Oh, I need to get online. So I got my Google up. And what if I wanted to watch a YouTube video at the same time I'm doing all of this? It will work. So now I have my YouTube video up and running. I can do a Google search while I'm working on my PowerPoint, Excel, or Word project. And this works across the board. If I wanted to run four games at the same time, it is possible. I'm not sure how performance would be, but you could do it if you really wanted to. So now that we have work and projects out of the way, it's time to get into some gaming. Android does have a lot of games that natively support controllers, especially X input like the Xbox One controller. I'm going to start up Fortnite here. Now, I personally don't play it much, but I know a lot of people are going to want to see this running here. 
I'm going to go to full screen with it. So here it is, Fortnite running at 1080p, 60 FPS. I'm using an Xbox controller. This is all running in Dex mode. It's just pretty amazing to see a game like this running at 60 FPS, 1080p on an Android device. I do have the FPS listed. It's right up by the map there. And we're set to high with 100% scaling. So it will definitely handle it, at least on the Galaxy S10. So here's Minecraft and it runs really well on this device in Dex mode. This is the only game I've run into where I don't have a resize bar at the very top, but the whole window can be resized. I just don't think we can go full screen with it inside of dex mode. But it's perfectly playable like this, and it works great with the controller. Unfortunately, PUBG Mobile doesn't natively support controllers, so you'll kind of be stuck either using a mapping app or keyboard and mouse. The WASD keys do move your character around, but you have to use your mouse to aim and shoot at the same time. I really hope that sometime down the road they add full keyboard and mouse support and gamepad support, but until then, it's a little cumbersome to play. Emulation on DeX and the Galaxy S10 is absolutely amazing. This is the ReDream emulator, a Dreamcast emulator. You can download free on the Google Play Store, and I can go full screen with it. I just left it in window mode. But overall, every emulator that I've tested actually works really well on this setup, especially in DeX mode, either windowed or full screen. This is PSP running God of War Chains of Olympus at 3x resolution. If you're trying to play this exact game here on, let's say, the Galaxy S8 or the Tab S4 with the Snapdragon 835, you might want to drop it down to 2x resolution, but overall it should work really well on those devices also. RetroArch also functions really well inside of Dex mode. Unfortunately, I have to resize the window manually. I don't have the option to go full screen, but here's some Sega Saturn emulation running at full speed. And finally, on the emulation side of things, this is the Dolphin emulator running a few GameCube games. The Snapdragon 855 actually handles Dolphin really well. This is Super Smash, and then we'll move over to some Soul Calibur 2. So Dex can actually turn your phone into a little emulation slash gaming console that you can plug right into your TV. I absolutely love this setup here. So before I end this video, there's one last thing I want to show you, and it's probably my favorite part about running Dex on Samsung devices. We have the ability to easily run Linux on Dex. Basically, this is a container creator. It's in beta right now. You can download their 16.04 image. This is Ubuntu. But remember, it's still running on an ARM chip, so some apps that you might normally use on an x86 PC won't be compatible. I'm going to click Run. It's going to boot me right into the GNOME desktop. So I guess the original idea for having Linux on DeX was to create C++ and JavaScript projects right in Ubuntu on an ARM device. Well, it's got to be Samsung running DeX. You can easily manage your servers using your favorite CLI, but nothing here is really stopping us from using this as an all-in-one desktop. Now, from Terminal, you could run a sudo apt git install gimp, and I've already done that, so I've installed gimp here, and I've also installed open arena. Go to Applications, Graphics. I have gimp installed, a full photo editing suite right here. You can install LibreOffice if you really want to. I'm going to close this down. 
I have also installed, where's my games? Open Arena. This is basically Quake 3 running in Linux on DAX. So I'll just go to Demos. And I really haven't messed around with it much. I was able to play through a game, but this is kind of a little benchmark. And it runs really smooth. There are some graphical glitches in the demo, but I did not see these in real gameplay. I'm not sure if the demo file's corrupt or what's going on here. You have a full browser, Chromium or Firefox, whatever you choose to use. Go to Applications, Utilities, System Monitor. Like I said, we can use all 8 gigs because this is the S10 with 8 gigs built in. It also has 2.5 gigabytes of swap preset up. You can monitor all your CPU cores from here. You can just browse the web. Uh, one thing I did was run a quick Octane benchmark. And I was actually surprised to see how well this performed. Now this is just a basic online JavaScript benchmark. It's really not given us that much information, but I've run this on so many devices, I can kind of get a feel for how this thing's gonna perform just by this score here. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I just wanted to give you a look at Samsung DeX. If you already own a Galaxy S8 or up, you can go ahead and give this a try. I'll leave a link to the same adapter I'm using in the description. I picked this up for $15 on Amazon, but you can go as high as 50 bucks if you really want to. But this one works just fine. Two USB 3.0 ports, Ethernet, SD card slot, HDMI, and USB Type-C in. If you have any questions or if there's anything else you want to see running inside of Samsung DeX, just let me know in the comments below. It'd also be really cool if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, but like always, thanks for watching.